What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Awesomeo.com coming to you with my top three picks for tonight's lovely football game we have in store. It's the Chicago Bears. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's a total under 40. It is bound to be ugly, and I am so excited for that. I think these low total games make for some of the best showdown slates. Looking forward to it. And hi, if you could help us out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know in this and all the other content here at Osmo is going live. But of course, if you do one thing right now, if you're a new user, head over to Yahoo, deposit $10 or more, and get that free month of Osmo Plus Platinum, a $90 value, everything, every single sport we offer behind the paywall, completely free to you. Check it out. And now let's check out my three top plays for tonight. For my superstar play, and let me just tell you, this game is disturbing. And I think Najee Harris, I think Deontay Johnson, you know, uh, everybody makes sense. But for me, I want to play the superstar spots, uh, quarterbacks. We've talked about quarterbacks repeatedly here. Ben Roethlisberger throwing the ball a lot, but the one thing he doesn't do, he's not mobile anymore. But there's one quarterback in the super low total game that is. His name's Justin Fields. I want to make him my superstar play. Coming off of his first really competent game in a while, just in terms of a ground production, Justin Fields coming out of Ohio State, we were expecting to be somebody who could get things done on the ground, but had failed to usurp 43 yards in a game. Well, he put up 103 against San Francisco in a losing effort. Come from behind mode might be a good thing to see a little bit more rushing upside from him. We've seen it from guys like Lamar Jackson, you know, multiple times where it can be passing and with his legs uh, in come from behind mode against the Colts yesterday against the Vikings. I see Justin Fields not being Lamar Jackson, but I see him with some definite rushing upside and he's going to be running for his life. PFF's graded fifth defense is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're terrible offensively, of course, but, uh, Defensively, the Steelers are still formidable. I think that probably gives a little bit more rushing upside to Justin Fields. He won't have the time to sit back there. So looking forward to him possibly being the superstar spot because, you know, even 80 yards, 60 yards on the ground, something of that nature could end up optimal in this spot in the low total game. Definite rushing upside for a rushing touchdown as well. Looking forward to him being the main uh, guy that I'm putting up in the superstar spot tonight. For my second play, we're going to just take the freebie. And, you know, I know David Montgomery is going to be activated off the IR tonight, but at $22, I just feel a lot more secure with Najee Harris. Najee Harris is playing a gigantic workload. He is the sole back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's no doubt about it. He sees a crazy amount of passing volume as well over the course of this season. I mean, it's been ridiculous looking at a couple of these outputs. He's had 14, 14 catches against the Cincinnati uh, Bengals in week three. A number of these spots where we're going to see nothing like that, but definite extra boost to that passing volume. Uh, when you see a back like this is playing 85%, 90% of the snaps, no way around it. They're going to be a big part of your lineups in a showdown slate where there's only two pieces. I'm going to get dealt different elsewhere here, but Najee Harris, I think, is the priority play from the Pittsburgh side, no doubt about it. And for my last pick, let's talk about perhaps one of the most disappointing players in fantasy football this entire season and somebody that I can't believe how much I want to be investing in him tonight because of the public perception, and that is Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson saw 11 targets, and that was week one. Justin Fields was not the quarterback, and so now we're looking at Justin Fields being there, and since then has not received more than seven targets in a game. He's out there. The, the routes just look strange. If you go to any of the NFL Next Gen Stats pages and you look at some of these routes, it's not a very complex route tree. Not normally what we see out of Allen Robinson, but I have optimism. I have optimism purely because of a $12 tag. And seeing a $12 salary, cheaper than the likes of Darnell Mooney, who's at $15, you know, you, you have definite concerns as far as what this total is. I think he's the source of savings that I'm going to be prioritizing. Do I feel great about it? Absolutely not. But you're not going to feel great about a lot of options down here on this bottom end. Pay close attention to the Boom Bust tool. Pay close attention to the Single Game Showdown projections page. We have it, Awesomeo. If he starts getting tracked up, I will probably shy away. But right now, he's getting less attention than just about every single position skill player above him. Darnell Mooney getting more attention. Obviously, even David Montgomery, once that IR tag gets removed from him, he's going to get more attention. Allen Robinson, I know it's been ugly. Only 26 catches, only 271 yards on the entire season thus far. Only one touchdown. But I think positive regression is in store here. Justin Fields is starting to get a little bit more acclimated to the NFL level. Not saying it's going to be pretty, but I think at $12, you could do a lot worse than Allen Robinson as your final flex play. 
And those are my three plays of the day. We've got Justin Fields up in the superstar spot, Najee Harris down there in the flex, as well as Allen Robinson. Please be Allen Robinson Day. Let me know in the comments section below if there's somebody else that you're interested in. If you think that there's a deep flyer, whether it's Pat Fryer Muth Day, uh, the Penn State native starting to come to fruition there in Pittsburgh. It's going to be a really fun showdown slate. Don't be afraid to leave some money on the table when you're going down to that $10 to $12 range. Allen Robinson really sticks out as the play that I want to go to, but you can make some cases for a lot of guys beneath that. Uh, I think you're going to have pretty condensed volume in the running backs for, for both David Montgomery and Najee Harris here, but looking forward to this slate. But don't forget, the most important thing you can do right now is head over to Yahoo if you're a new user. Get that free month of Awesome Plus Platinum by depositing $10 or more and playing in any paid contest. Get into this uh, contest as well tonight. I believe that there's a free live final ticket. Well, not free, excuse me. There's a live final ticket available up top. So go get that done. Take down this 10K, and we'll see you guys back here for another edition on Thursday. For Yahoo Fantasy, I'm Eric Lindquist. We'll see you guys later.